The Russian Federation Armed Forces continues a special military operation. On Friday, December 16th, Ukraine's military command, defense and industrial complex systems and the energy facilities supporting them were hit with a massive strike by long-range airborne and sea-based precision weapons. The purpose of the strike has been achieved. All the assigned targets have been neutralized. The strike prevented the transfer of foreign-made weapons and ammunition, blocked the movement of reserves to combat areas, and halted Ukraine's defense enterprises, producing and repairing weapons, military equipment and ammunition. In the course of repelling the strike by Ukrainian and Western air defense systems, a significant resource was expanded on deliberately launched decoys. At the same time, four radar stations of Ukrainian S-300 air defense systems in the settlements of Andrusovka and Prydnitrovskoye of Dnepropetrovsk region, as well as Novotavrychitskoye and Nikolaipole of Zaporozhye region have been revealed and destroyed. As a result of the unprofessional actions of the Ukrainian air defense units, civilian infrastructure on the ground has been damaged. In the Kupiansk direction, fire was directed at Ukrainian military units in the settlements of Petropavlovka and Timkovka in Kharkov region. Up to 40 Ukrainian servicemen, seven armored fighting vehicles and four cars were destroyed. In the cross Nidoman direction, the Russian troops carried out a preemptive attack on the enemy reserves near Kolodezy of Donetsk People's Republic. Up to 30 Ukrainian servicemen were killed and wounded, two armored combat vehicles and two pickup trucks were neutralized. In the Donetsk direction, the Russian troops carried out an offensive, which resulted in gaining favorable lines and new positions. Ukrainian armed forces units made unsuccessful attempts to counter-attack Russian units close to Bakhmatskoye and Opetnoye in Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy was stopped and dispersed by artillery and assault groups. More than 30 Ukrainian servicemen were killed, as well as seven vehicles were neutralized. In the South Donetsk direction, up to 35 Ukrainian servicemen and two armored personnel carriers were destroyed during the day by active actions of the Russian troops and artillery fire. Moreover, two Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups were discovered and destroyed near Novomayorskoye and Shevchenko of Donetsk People's Republic. Operational tactical aviation, missile troops and artillery hit temporary deployment point of the 14th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near the city of Kupiansk of Kharkov region, as well as 53 artillery units at firing positions, manpower and military equipment in 89 areas. A temporary location of foreign mercenaries was hit close to Krasny Leman in Donetsk People's Republic. Two Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down by anti-aircraft defense forces near Zaliman of Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, three Uragan MLRS rockets were intercepted near Tokmak of Zaporozhye region, and four Heimer MLRS projectiles near Rozovka and Baranikovka of Lugansk People's Republic. In total, 344 airplanes and 184 helicopters, 2,675 unmanned aerial vehicles, 398 air defense missile systems, 7,140 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 931 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,691 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 7,638 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation.